Hey guys, this is Meza here. I'm going to be showing you guys a tutorial on how to play specific characters for Rumble Pack. I do work with Lero personally, so I do get firsthand how to set up combos and also create them myself since I do have an in-depth knowledge about the game. So the first character that we're going to be working on is Maya. Uh, just to give you a rundown of what Maya's, Maya's background really is, is uh, basically Maya has a lot of abilities between uh, you would say Ryu and um, just an assortment of other Street Fighter characters. Uh, the main style we're going to be focusing on is Decimal Style, considering um, that's more of her uh, Street Fighter style, if you want to say. But uh, I'm going to jump into a couple of combos and some setups that could really be worthy noted for uh, high level play, but also it could also get started for any other type of play. So I'm the pink one. Um, excuse my mishaps early because my finger is a little messed up but um she has a lot of good moves starting with uh, her fireballs uh they don't go very far but they have a lot of uh they have a lot of different speeds um one thing i do want to note from the start her fireball has two hits on it so one two uh so that's always good to note um she has a, a somewhat hurricane kick which is called orion's belt um well yeah, it's called Orion's Belt, her super is at least. Um, she also has a dash punch, which I've yet to find a full purpose for it. But um, let's just focus on some of her normals. So she has a jumping A, jump B, jump C, uh, crouching A, crouching B, crouching C. Uh, crouch C is good anti-air. Uh, she has standing A, standing B, standing C. Uh, and her range is fairly okay. Um, I would say you're gonna opt to do more of standing C's, uh, since standing C does have this uh, Sagat type of um, form where from a close range she just has a normal kick, but from afar you can see her, her foot extends a little bit. So you'll be able to get a little bit more range, especially on jump ins, if you don't feel that you could space a crouching C. You can go for a standing C, and it should, you know, activate that that long range kick. So let's move a little bit more into a couple of other moves that she has. She has a uh, this hurricane kick thing, uh, which you're gonna see later in me doing a lot of combos with. But she also has uh, if you do back C, she can charge a crouching kick. So what this does is uh, it gives a lot of mix up during uh, your combos. Which is really helpful. Um, she also has a, if you do forward C, it's an overhead. It's really fast, but it pushes you forward so it can be unsafe. Uh, one thing that is good to note is it does cross up. Uh, on block, I'm not too positive. I would have to double check, but I do know it does cross up on hit. So this does come with, a, this does help you with a lot of uh, nice mix ups on knockdown which I will be showing soon or later. Uh, her her jump in C, which is her kick, is really, really good to note. Uh, it has good range on it. Almost uh, some, some invisible hit frames, uh, in a sense. But um, it also crosses up. So this is also good to know, especially when you're right over them. It's very ambiguous to know what side they're gonna fall on. Um, it just depends on your spacing, that's all, and your timing for it. So, now that you see that, let's uh, start working with uh, her, her combos and her supers, and let's start with her first super. Her super is a really, really big fireball, um, followed by her second super, which is uh, Orion's Belt, which is her repeated kicks. Um, it is good to note that uh, it does work, all these moves do work on smaller characters too, such as Oliver. So the one thing you're definitely going to want to do, take note to, is uh, she does have a DX Fireball. It's okay, it's not the best option, um, 
considering it does some damage, but not a lot. So you're going to do that to stuff maybe uh, a couple of uh, unprioritized, uh, I guess, fireballs, such as maybe MC... Uh, MC Supercut, uh, you should be able to out. You should be able to out prioritize some of his fireballs or even his EX fireball. So, moving on to her EX, uh, her EX kicks, which is Sheen or Sheen Sheen Cool Sheen Sheen Cool Orion. It, it's funny because it's supposed to be like Sheen Cool Orion, but uh, Sheen Cool Orion, uh, which is that. Uh, it does not, it does mix up, well, not really mix up, but it does cross up when you're too close, which allows you to combo from behind, which, it, it's some funky stuff that, that can be played around with, but, um, from a far distance, it still does, uh, knock up, even on the last hit, and you can combo off of it. Um, her super, her fireball super, can also be comboed off of, so that's also really, really good to know. Especially with uh, some of the combos that I'm going to be showing you guys. But um, let's start with uh, some of her knockdowns. Um, she doesn't have a lot of options for for a knockdown. But we're going to be working on that. I, I believe so soon to give her more of an option to knockdown. So uh, one of your options for knockdown would be the EX uh, Sheen Cool Orion. Um, which gives you good setups. So now, now that you know that, she has a fireball. Her fireball is really, really slow. That's a, that would be her quarter circle four C, which does a slow one. And it has a little charge to it too, if you hold it, which is kind of nice. Uh, you can get a really big one. So uh, you could, you could do a lot of uh, funky stuff with uh, all her stuff. Even the, even the, the short, the, the light and the mediums, you could charge. But they don't go as far, so unless you release it a little bit sooner. So, a few funky things that you could do with her is like, say I do EX uh, Sheen Orion, Orion, nah, Sheen Cool Orion, uh, you could do uh, a fireball mix up. So, here's one that you would want to do. Yep. yep, I messed that up. So it, it's really ambiguous too, considering you could end up on one side and the fireball can hit from the opposite side depending on how you want to do it. Um, so she has a few. Um, another one is the what I just showed you, which would be this. Uh, you could do the forward kicks, which will put you on the opposite side. So say you do that, so you can already kind of mix up. So do this. Uh, messed that up. See, so, I mean, it can be really ambiguous how you want to set it up. Um, you can set it up with the kick. Uh, you can also do EX. Oop, wow. Didn't mean to hit her with the fireball. Oh. Oh, not the kicks. So, you can do, uh, the EX machine to fireball wake up. And, I mean, you can get a lot out of it, too, so... So, I mean, it's it could become very ambiguous depending if you charge it right. Um, now, moving on to some of her a little bit more advanced combos. Um, a lot of people are going to opt to do this just for knockdown sakes. Um, two of those will do like a, a hard drop because of the scaling. We don't want to allow comboing so hard. Um, but if you do like... ABC to EX Ryan, you get a, a free knockdown, and then you can set up for whatever you want. But if you don't want to waste that meter so early, uh, want, or if you don't want to waste meter at all, um, a combo that I did come up with that would be really useful and helpful for most people with Maya um, would be you're gonna do now her her forward her forward C does combo into you would combo AB into forward C, which would allow you to do another combo. So if you do forward C, you can you can see you can already swag you can swag off of it. So if you do A B forward C into B C, because B C is still a combo, it will combo. So if you do, oh my bad. 
So you got five swag off of that. So all you have to do is do A, B, forward C, B, C again. So. And you get a free, nice little damage combo. But you can extend it using um, her, her Orion kick, pretty much. Which will allow you to re-combo. So if you do A, B, C, A, B, forward C to B, C to Orion kick, what happens is it allows you to still combo. So I'll show you what happens. Ah, I missed it. Eh, it didn't come out. Yeah. So you do get the combo. Now you can tie that in with your choice of doing EX after or one thing that I did like to do was do um I would do that and it works still. So so her hurricane kick is her kick is kind of like soccer a little bit. She can tie stuff like this into it if you do it right. So she becomes a little bit like Sakura at one point. So you could do uh, crou you could do crouching A C into Orion kick into B C Orion kick. So this gives you so many more options off of off of that off of just the the forward C. So forward C is kind of your best friend at this point. So let's see if I can do the, the elongated combo for that. Uh, finishing into a fireball super. Um, ah, I missed it. Um, on the last one, you're going to want to finish it to EX. EX kicks or uh, after this. It's kind of hard to do super. So you're going to want to do that to super. So it's going to be... After you do the Orion's kick, you're going to want to do C into super. So... Ah. Oh, my finger. So, I mean, those are options. Sorry, I didn't really do the proper combo. But... But she has a lot of potential to to really beef out her damage, which most people don't get the chance to do with most of the characters because they don't really know combos and they don't understand the functioning behind the game. Um, do you remember, uh, EXs don't take as much meter. We're still working on how much it should take, but um, for now it takes about a quarter to a half a meter. Which is really solid. It, it helps with people to play with meter management. Um, but Maya is definitely one of those characters you're gonna definitely see uh, not super high tier, but she can tie a lot of her stuff to be safe. So, and this is only just one form. This is just the decimal form. But um, just remember that uh, she gets a lot of um, free comboing off of supers and and her. Um, her forward C's. So, so if you do, free mix ups. Or, ah. wow, I keep doing this combo. So, wow, that really didn't register. I was supposed to, but you could do super, you could dash forward, and I mean she gets so much damage off of that super with other things. But um, this is just a basic tutorial on how to play Maya a little bit better. Um, she has good move speed, good dash speed, so try to use that to your advantage. She doesn't have a double jump. Most characters, well, no character should have a double jump in this game, um, or they'd be broken. But um. She has good walk speed, back and forward, so she's definitely going to have a lot of good play, but she's definitely not going to be, if anything, super high tier. Um, 
but with that being said that's all I have for Maya right now uh, all you have to do is if you want to get more information go to rumblepack.tumblr.com and you know just send us some information that you might want to know about or that you might want to know uh, we also have a form uh, which you can find through the rumble pack tumblr um, and you can either contact me or Lero. Thank you for watching the first uh, tutorial on any of the characters, which is basically Maya. And I hope you guys will tune into more of them.